Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Kiwi's Collectibles. Today I have been tagged. That's right, I have been tagged by Thrifting Adventures to make a video showcasing the best finds of the season. Now, I want to say that I have never done a video like this before. I've never been tagged for anything. I'm relatively new at YouTube and I'm pretty excited about this and I had to do some thinking. It was it was a little bit tougher than, you know, than you would think it would be. So, I want to thank Thrifting Adventures for tagging me in this challenge. Make sure you check out her channel. She um, has been making some videos recently about consignment and how she consigns children's clothing, children's toys. She knows a lot about toys and she sells on eBay and I believe she has an antique store, but she puts out a lot of good content that I've been following and I want to make sure you go and check her out. Now, back to my best finds of the season. So, the best finds are going to be broken down in six categories. So, the categories are clothing, kids' items, something for the family, decor, something unexpected, and a high-end item found at a low-end price. So, let's get started with the first category, and that is clothing. Now, I want to start by saying that I don't look at clothing very often in the thrift stores or at yard sales. That's just something that we don't get involved in. Where we don't really like to sell clothes. We have a few items online, and that's about it. So, I did come across this fun item over the weekend. And these are a pair of Dansko clogs. I found them at a yard sale for $5. Now, if you know anything about Danskos, then you'll know that they are pretty comfortable shoes. I don't have a pair myself, but these shoes are worn by um, a lot of nurses. Um, if you have a job that you stand all day, you really want to get a pair of Danskos, from what I understand. So, these shoes that I purchased for $5, I don't think they have ever actually been worn. So, take a look at how nice and clean they are. I mean, there's no wear on them. They're size 36. And, I mean, even the bottom, even the soles are super clean. And, um... They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the coloring on this shoe. Look at the flowers and how beautiful it is. And this shoe is more of a, it's a little bit harder. Some of the, some of the shoes I know are, have more soft leather, but this is harder and it has this gloss about it. And it is just absolutely, you know, in great shape. So I, I can probably sell these for 30 or $40 online, and I'm pretty excited about that. So this is one of the best finds that I could find this season as far as clothing goes, especially since we don't really look at a lot of clothing. The next item, kids' items. Now, I don't know if this is for, you know, a young kid or maybe an older kid, but I found these two, hold on, ALF puppets <laughs> at a Goodwill recently, um, probably about maybe three weeks ago. Um, they're both little hand puppets, you can see. This little ALF, it says cooking with ALF. He, he might be a little French chef. Look at his little mustache. Can you see? He's got the little you know, where you you twist the little ends, wee, 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 right there, do you see that? He is so cute, and they he needs, a, you know, to get a bath. He needs to be washed thoroughly, but look at this one. I love him. He's like the Beach Boys, or, you know, he is totally summer, but um, kids love puppets, 
And sometimes in my classroom, I let my kids uh, make hand puppets with brown bags, little lunch bags. And it all depends on, you know, if we can have a good character from a story and they can make a little puppet to go along with the story that we're reading for the week. They go bananas. Kids love puppets. So this is a great item for kids young and kids older that remember Alf from back in the day. So this was a fun find for a kid's item. And we're gonna sell Alf online hopefully pretty soon. I don't have him listed. We really need to get them washed up and cleaned up. You know, maybe their clothes ironed up a bit. So, um, good thing we don't have cats, right? But anyway, um, the next category is decor. And I have um, filmed just a little piece of decor that I have thrifted, and I'm gonna insert that right here. This is one of my favorite thrift finds that I am using for decor in my home. I think I found this, I, I wanna say a Goodwill, I can't remember, but I've had it for a little while, and it is probably about six inches tall. It's a lapis, this beautiful blue, and gemstone globe, and this is just a brass holder but it is absolutely gorgeous and I love it and I would never sell this. So I'm using that along with these three brass swans that I thrifted. I found these two at, a, at an estate sale and I found this little swan probably a few weeks ago at Goodwill. And now they all are together as a family. So I'm so happy that I found all three of these. So these are really my favorite decor finds and they go great on my shelf here. And one other little decor find that I found just this past week is this cute little beagle brass figurine and I've washed it and it still has, I guess this is some patina on it. I kind of like it like that. And this reminds me of our beagle that just passed away last November. She was super old y'all and she was just the most obedient, wonderful little dog. So this is going out for our little kook. That was her name. It's a long story behind it but she was a precious dog so we're keeping this here for her and um, we can always remember her by. So those are, um, actually those are several of my favorite decor pieces um, that I have found thrifting. Okay, now moving on to the next category, something unexpected, okay? Let's see, something unexpected. Well, this is the last little bit of our lot of G.I. Joe figures and ships and tanks or whatever comes with G.I. Joe. Um, the reason why I was so unexpected to find the G.I. Joe toys is because these toys um, they're from the 80s, and they're actually highly sought after online. You know, when you get a G.I. Joe, you can sell it and sell it quick for a nice little decent profit. And actually, Brian found it. We were thrifting, and he found a, you know, the large little Rubbermaid boxes. Well, he found the box in a thrift store. I was on the other side of the store, and he came up to me, and he was like, do you know what's in here and uh, so it was quite unexpected for him and he was very very excited he knew what it was me not so much because I wasn't into GI Joe's but um, you know that was quite an unexpected find and it brought a lot of good bread and butter money for us so um, that was pretty exciting okay the next category is something for the family now 
this is something that Brian and I picked up at a yard sale. It was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday sale. So we went Friday, we got this over the summer. And this camera, it's practically brand new. Um, they actually had two cameras and they were sell one had already sold and this was the next one to go. I mean, we got there right at, you know, Friday and someone already beat us to the punch as far as getting a different camera. But this Canon camera is in excellent shape. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this camera. And we've got this for the family so we can take family trips and take pictures because, you know, we used to have a nice camera and then, you know, as time went by, it wasn't so nice anymore. And then we just started using our phone. And phones are great, they're really convenient, but there's nothing like just having a really good camera to take family pictures, um, just uh, going on vacation, and just having those memories. And so this was a great find for us. One of the best finds of the season, definitely for us. This is not going to be sold, so. Okay, uh, okay, we, I inserted decor, something that is a high-end item found at a discount price. And this season, I found a, um, a Ray Din, I guess it's just a little canister. It's in the shape of a bird's nest. And I'm gonna insert a picture here. We have already sold it. And at the time that I purchased this Ray Dunn, now you know you can get Ray Dunn in like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all these stores, right? And so I don't collect Ray Dunn, but a lot of people do. And I don't feel it's a high end item, but because so many people collect it and there are some rare pieces out there, I wanted to use this one for this category because this item is actually a limited item. It is a, um, it was a Ray Dunn, it was a birdhouse for FTD by Magenta and I believe they only made 300 of those and I found it at Goodwill sitting on the shelf for $2.95 and I was able to sell this for $1,000 on eBay. Y'all, that's crazy. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm really speechless about that. So again, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless. So that is all I have to say about Ray Dunn, okay? I mean, I like her, I like her. So we've talked about clothing my ALF kids items, something for the family was my camera. Um, we talked about my shelf and my cute little globe and swans for decor, something unexpected, those GI Joes, totally. And Ray Dunn birdhouses are gonna bring it up, gonna bring up the rear. So again, I wanna thank you for watching and I have the honor to tag someone else and I'm going to tag Life on Greenwood. And if you have not seen her channel, she is classy. She has decor videos. She has thrifting hauls. She got, takes you to the bin. I mean, this lady is just nothing but class and she is amazing. So I am giving a shout out to you, Life on Greenwood. She just recently changed her channel's name to Life on Greenwood. Um, and so I will be contacting you to let you know that you have been tagged, and I am excited to see what you are going to show for us because lady, you are something else. So thank you everyone for watching this video, and if you enjoy this type of content, Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, tap that little bell, ding, 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 so you can always know the next time I post a video. Until next time, my friends, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.